Welcome back. Cammie and I have to sit here in the studio and just hang out while Tom is surrounded by coffee and baked goods. It seems like he always does this to us. I Tom, know. you better bring something back with you. I have to bring something back. Okay, I'll, I'll see what I can, something like this maybe? Okay, look, I'm at Bloom's Coffee Bar and Bakery, and if you wanna talk about old school, old world, just old fashioned baked goods, this is a place that you really need to stop. And then they mix it with things that, you know, we all like the lattes and mochas and, and, and things like that. This is Nikita right here. Nick, uh, good to see hey, you first of going? all. Tom, thanks, thanks for having us by. by. Talk about some of these baked goods that you have in front of us because these are things you can't just get everywhere. Yes, yes. So I guess what's super special about the shop is it is owned by Ukrainian Slavic based folks. So I think when you come in, you're going to see a beautiful cold case with a hot case. And we've got different, we've got bulishki, we've got kalachi, we've got challah bread. That's going to be your baked goods. And uh -huh. then any pastries, we've got peach cookies, cannolis, honey cake. We've got some puff pastries. This is uh, blueberry cream cheese yeah. and apple turnover. See, Super the, good. these are some of the things that I grew up with when I was a yeah. kid. And really, you know, you may not have recognized some of the, the names that he was saying, but I guarantee you, you will love the baked goods, the pastries, the breads are out of this world yep. as well. Yep, yep, yep. So coffees we've got a dreamer it's got vanilla caramel half and half super good uh -huh. we've got your kind of classic cappuccino so we've got different variety of different coffees that you can try as well and now i i what is it that that brought you to open an establishment like this yeah because first of all opening any establishment with food is difficult yeah. but when you're trying to introduce different foods to an area not always the easiest thing. Yeah, day. I think the biggest thing, Springfield is a spe pretty special town. There's a lot of uh, Ukrainian Slavic population here. Yeah. And so we were kind of thinking, hey, it'd be cool to bring some, because there's a lot of people that bake things like this, but nothing like official, legitimate, yeah. say to, so, so to speak. So we were kind of like, hey, it'd be great to have something like that here in Springfield and on a main it's an incredible location. So. Yeah, right on uh, on East Battlefield, just off of Nashville. Yep, yep, yep. Now, uh, uh, yours, yep. your particular favorite. What do you like that, you know, that comes into this case, or maybe one of the breads or? So, anything? out of the cold case, I probably say my favorite is hands down cannoli and the honey honey cake. The honey cake. Cannoli and the honey cake. This I'm is my gonna, I'm going to I'm going to move this forward Go ahead and try because it. I have not tasted. I have tasted the cannoli, but I have not tasted the honey cake, and that is something I'm going to do right here. Give it a try. I, oh, I'm going. Those are probably my favorite out of the cold case, out of the hot case. Well, you told me. This is good. This is really good stuff. Moist, and just because it's honey, that doesn't mean it's too sweet. No, 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 no. There is a very it's nice balance good. that goes yeah, on yeah. here. Mmm, and of course. Macaroons for days. Macaroons for days. I mean, any of them you're gonna pick, they're gonna be, they're gonna taste really good. Mm -hmm. And then the peach cookies. That's this one right here. That's also kind of a traditional. It's got like kind of like a. It's not really a sugar cookie. You try it. You tell me what it tastes like. But then it's got ooh, apricot ooh, ooh. and dulce de leche cream on the inside. Okay, this is really good. And I grew up, especially with cookies, eating the apricot filled. They were yes. called kiflis. Yep in Croatia, and if you've never tried an apricot-filled cookie, you've been missing a whole bunch. And, of course, what are, what are your hours here, your days of opening So, hours? Monday through Thursday, we're open 6.30 to 7, mm -hmm. and then Fridays, we're open 6.30 to 8, and then Saturdays, it's 8 to 8. Okay. Wednesday okay. is a very special day. Yes. Tell folks what you're going to be doing here. So on Wednesday, it's August 24th. It's actually Ukrainian Independence Day. So that was the day that the Soviet Union kind of more or less dismantled, fell apart. And that was when Ukraine did not have to follow the rules of the former Soviet Union. So, so it's a big day and we're going to be celebrating. We actually, with everything that's happening on that side of the world with the entire war, uh, we are going to be donating 10% of the sales towards Convoy of Hope. 
and they're going to be using that to bring humanitarian financial aid to folks who are struggling. Okay, that's Wednesday, 10%. There'll also be a box here. If you just want to drop in some donations yep. for the cause, they would be more than happy to see you coming in. So we're going to be back here in just a little bit because we may take a little trip in the back where they're doing the baked goods and things like that and see more from Blooms. So don't go away. Join us in just a bit. A quick Back question. You. So I just want to know briefly, what do you think people that haven't been able to visit Blooms yet will love most about it? I think what they'll love most is being introduced to something different, something you can't find just anywhere. And let me tell you, they will love it because each one of these is a taste treat. I kid you not. All That's right. what I think. Thank you, Tom. That's All right, so coming up after the break, we'll be learning about a tribute in Branson to one of the best-selling best music groups of all time. Carpenters Once More is with us next.